Uh, please. Okay. Thank you. Now, because of Wendexi, today we are going to talk about uh, because of Wendexi. It's a story. Okay. Uh, it's it's told by Kate Di Camello. She is an Italian one. She is an Italian uh, writer. Okay. It's a realistic fiction. Okay. Let me first talk about what is a realistic fiction. It comes from the word real. Okay. And fiction. Real and fiction. Real. It means the uh, fiction. It means that is out of or imaginary. It's out of the life. Sometimes you can say in the realistic fiction that cats are speaking, are speaking. You know, sometimes uh, uh, you can see the trees are speaking. He can goes uh, and he can return back to uh, by time. So fiction means it's not real. Okay, mm -hmm. is it clear, boys? Boys. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Let me let me let me continue. Okay. 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 Nice. Let me check who's Wissam who's trying. Wissam, right now, are you here? Wissam uh, Mansour or Wissam Monis? Mister. Can you hear me? Yes, no. Abdulaziz. I'm done. Go, go on. OK, let's return back to because of when Dixie. First of all, as I told you, realistic fiction has character and event are like people and events in the real life. You know, you can find a hunter who goes to hunt the magical bird. There is nothing is called a magical bird, but it's a little bit. Uh, there is hunter. There are hunting, but he is seeking for uh, a legendary creature. So this is what it called realistic fiction. So it's some stories that has uh, uh, what can I say unreal events that happen. OK, shall I continue? OK, yeah. uh, listen, let me move this bar. This is slide about suffixes because suffixes we are going to study it later. OK, suffixes are going to be studied later. My cat. So let's continue here. The first vocabulary, grand. Yeah, grand means very big. I made this okay. one. But some, yeah, yeah, yes, I know, I know. Uh, just we are refreshing ourselves and we are remembering what we have studied. Oh. OK, so as we this is the first session for me, I don't know more about you boys, but I think I, I say hello and introduction uh, session. Do you remember? Do you remember yeah. me when I say hi when I was wearing the black uh, mask? Yeah, yeah. OK, nice. Nice. That's great, guys. Oh, my God. So very big or it had another meaning very big but it, uh, what we really mean here grand means uh, what can I say an enjoyable uh, in your a time that you enjoy by it you have a very good and great time it means I have a grand time for example I go to Disneyland who went to Disneyland in America anyone here went to America before United States no any no. one of you know what? No, but no. I'm planning to no. go. Yeah, planning to go. OK, you can just pack, pack me in your box, OK? I'm not going to take a lot of size. OK, guys? <laughs> That's good. OK, okay no problem. So uh, a grand time, look at Disneyland. Once you are, you are seeing the fireworks, uh, the Disney characters are dancing and around you for girls. Uh, they like the, the Disney princess. So you have a grand time if you visit Disneyland. You're going to see many places that amuse and attract you. So you are going to have a grand time. So grand time means what, guys? Who can give another word that equals grand? Hmm. Who can say? OK, uh, Lace, go mm -hmm. on. Lace, answer. A great time or a very good. Yeah, a great time. Um, OK, 
Abdul Aziz Tarek, Muhammad Tarek's brother, gave me another word for grand time. Not great. Grand time another word. Party uh, no, no, no. I can't hear you. Raise your voice, man. A great time is a party that has been very long. No, 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 no. no. I need just word equals grand. I just need yeah. one word that equals grand time. Hamatarak. Okay. Hamatarak. Uh, Abdelaziz Tarak. Sorry. Sorry. Abdelaziz Tarak. Where are you? Okay, Abdelaziz is sleeping. Let's continue. Hi. Okay, this is the first word. Okay, memorial. What is the meaning of it comes from memory? Okay, something I use. Okay, it helps people to remember a person, an animal, an event. You know, sometimes you can find uh, a place or a statue uh, in a ring way. Okay, it reminds you with uh, how, um, how was or how were our soldiers patriot in the war. Okay, sometimes uh, we are going to make a, a kind of a statue to you or a kind of drawing to remind you about uh, the sacrifice of our army and so on. So a memorial helps people to remember a person, thing or an event. Okay, the memorial could be a statue, a speech or a special ceremony. It's not only a statue. You can say uh, in a television, a speech uh, it's going to consider as a memorial and so on. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. OK, let me mute you. But who just raise your hand? Who can give me another a memorial that he has seen is him in? OK, Abdul Majid, go on. Abdul Majid, go on. Abdul Majid, you raise your hand, go on. Go on. I'm at the answer. Me? Yes. Uh, but in which country? Any country? Uh, uh, where are you from? Where are you from? From Syria. Okay, yeah. in Syria. Have you seen any, any memorial before? Yeah. Yeah, what are what, what is that? Just tell me the, about it. The Bones Castle. Mm -hmm. The Bones Castle is a memorial for what? What were the events that remind you by it? It it was uh, a castle for an old man. For an old what? Sorry. For for a man that lived long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and and inside it some things that was for Syria from long time ago. Excellent, excellent. That's good. Thank you, Muhammad. Very good, Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. Go. Just, uh, just inform me about one of the memorials that you have uh, seen before. Uh, uh, I have a question. Are like small so, uh, stuff like uh, medals and this stuff? Are they? Uh, Laith, I can't hear you. Can you? you would you please? Uh, I said uh, this is a question. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like uh, cops, uh, are these memorial? Uh, uh, OK, say the question again late. I, I, I really, I can't hear you. R raise your voice and say the question again. OK. Uh, are uh, medals and uh, cups, are they uh, also memorial? Uh, uh, red hands? No, like medals, the uh, medals. Yeah, like yeah, we can consider uh, it's a, a private memorial, you know? It's a private memorial for you. It reminds you with something, but 
And the public memorials like statue, statues or statues, uh, like uh, ceremonies and so on. But you can consider that the medal as a memorial for you. Re you, rem you remember your success in a battlefield or in uh, any race or, or in a competition. Okay, so uh, Muhammad, please switch over your camera. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, that's a crack. Let's move on. Let me return back. Okay, peculiar. Okay, what is the meaning of peculiar? Peculiar means strange, weird, unusual. Okay, you have I have already seen a peculiar stone. It produces it. so it's a peculiar. You have seen a peculiar place, so don't go to it. So peculiar it means a strange or unusual. It has another meaning, weird. You know the meaning of weird. Yes, please mute yourselves and don't use mic. OK, so. Word of be killer, OK, OK, let's move on. Positive, positive to be positive about something you are sure about and no doubt in it. OK, to be positive about something you are sure about and not in a doubt. OK. Okay. Teacher, they open page one. Don't open any pages right now. I'm going to show show you later the pages you are going to open. Okay, and I'm going to inform you what homework you should do it. Okay, I'm just I'm going to open it later. Okay, let's move. So do you, right now, what's the it means something good, OK? To be positive about something, that you be a good man about something, or do you react uh, properly for something? OK. And now, prideful. Prideful, you feel proud for someone or some. Sometimes when you got the, uh, the, first, the first surprise in any competition or any uh, subject, or you got the high marks or the full marks, your mother and your father and all your family are bright why they are proud of you so to be prideful about something is to be very proud of oneself so who can tell me a moment that he was prideful for, for something or for an event or for someone who can tell let me check let me go down and down nizar no we have seven more mashallah Yasin Wael, go on. Yes, Mister. Uh, can you just tell me, Yasin, where are you from? I think you are from Egypt. Uh, am, I, am I right? Egypt. Yes, welcome. Now we are friends, okay? Now you please switch your camera. I'm not going to say it again. Okay. The word prideful means to be proud of something. Can you tell me um, that you were prideful for someone? Tell me the story about being prideful before for someone, for your father, for your mother, for your sister, for your brother, and so on. Do you hear any kind of... Please, guys, don't open your cameras. I don't need your cameras to be open. Switch it off, please. Um, Again, okay, go on, go on, Yasin. Hello, Yasin. Okay, who who's going to open the camera? I'm going to send him out of this. Is it clear? I hope it's clear. Go on, Yasin. Are you here? Hello, Yasin. Hello, Yasin. Hello. OK, Yasin is not here. I'm proud to for my father because he's working hard.
Mister, there's someone muting me. Mister. <laughs> Mr. Mr. is muted. Hold of the Mr. Hello. This is weird. No, not. I think he's lagging. Boys, hello. Sure? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm sorry for being. Uh, my internet connection uh, went out. I'm. I'm back. Okay. Anyways. Let's return back. Yasin, where are you? We were talking to Yasin. Yasin. Hi, Mister. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, go on. Tell me a minute that you were bright for that. I'm I'm proud for my father because he's working for us. Yeah, yeah nice. That's nice. That's a great feeling towards your parents. Okay, who wants to send me or to say something related to being prideful? Okay, who has a minute or a story that he was prideful in it? Okay, okay Muhammad, Muhammad Yahya, go on, okay. And after him, Lais, and after him, Samir, and after him, Nizar, go on, Muhammad, tell me the, uh, that story. Uh, yeah, that uh, this is about a football player when he was, when his team was still for a few minutes and the game would finish, then he let them win. For uh, two goals, he what's scored. His name? What, 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 what's his name? Omar. His name is Omar. Omar what? Omar. Asuma. Yeah, the Syrian player. I like him. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Elias, can you go and tell uh, me? Uh, 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 tell me about your story. Uh, it was very prideful because uh, I think uh, uh, before uh, two grades. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, there was fighting, and uh, one, and uh, people started. That one of the teachers took something. That was uh, the two people were fighting about. Then I just came. Mm -hmm. I told them to calm down, calm down. Then uh, it wasn't very so long. Uh, then uh, we, then I gave them uh, uh, chocolate. And yeah. So they were so that why you were prideful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. Who was talking? Khalid or Muhammad? Okay, uh, no, Lais, I think. My brother okay. was uh, here nearby. Khalid, go on. Go on, Khalid. Oh, yeah. I was uh, proud uh, because uh, once uh, my brother, uh, my uh, mother, I asked him that if he can write A, B, C. And then nice. he tried and tried, and then he wrote it right. For real, I don't believe it. And not, mm -hmm. uh, and not like um, today or something. No, f from a few days. From a few days or uh, one year, I think. Mm -hmm. so. Nice, excellent. Okay. Uh, and now Nizar's story. Hurry up, Nizar. Hurry hey. up. Hurry up. Um, uh, oh. it's mm -hmm. I. I was proud because I uh, when I was in the first grade. Okay, I become the first one in the grade in the exams for the second term. Yeah, the final. Yeah. Okay. okay. Excellent, 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 very good. Okay, Samer, say your story, hurry up, because we don't have much time. Go on, man. I was proud from myself for winning the sport day in my previous school. Nice, excellent. Abdelaziz. Abdelaziz Mahmoud, or Abdelrazak, I'm sorry, Abdelrazak. 
Go on, Abdul Razak. Abdul Razak, can you hear me? Me? I am I am Abdul Razak. Abdul Razak, I'm sorry, Abdul Razak, for that. Naive, this is the last warning. Don't open your camera. You are going to be out. If you did it again, guys, go on, Abdul Razak. Tell me your story. There is one time we are going to Yab and return. Then our our car son is 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 stuck. The wheel of our car is stuck on the sand. Oh, oh my God! And then what happened? And and, and then we and then we go out of the sand. There is a man. He he was with him a rope. He stuck it with our. Abdurazaki, my friend. Okay, go on, Abdurazak. Go on, Abdurazak. I'm here. I'm listening. Uh, like this. Oh, uh, that's all. That's why you were prideful of that man. Okay. Thank you, Abdurazak. Very good. Where are you from, Abdurazak? From from Syria. Oh, mashallah. Many boys are here from Syria. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for that, guys. Okay, let's continue because we don't have much time. We have just only 10 minutes to explain the rest. Okay. So the vocabulary here, the word recall. Recall means to remember, you know, or to remind yourself by some. If you recall something, it means you remember it again. If you recall something, you remember it. Mr. Okay. Yeah, go on. Uh, I can't see the screen. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to share it again. Me too. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, I shared again right now. Hello. Hello, Okay. Me okay. Three. Now, is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, switch off. Mute yourselves, please. Be guys, I told you an order. Mute yourself. Don't talk because the background and sounds in your background can be heard to all the class. Maybe the sound of your father, the sound of your mother, the sound of your sister playing or something. So don't do this again. And just mute yourself. And once I ask you. To answer, just go on and unmute yourself. Is it deal? Don't help ever open your cameras. To not get lost. Clear, boys? I hope it's clear. Okay, let's go back. So, recall, guys, means to remember. When you are in the exam, you recall all the information in your mind to write it inside what? Inside your paper. This is what, what is the meaning of recall. To recall to remember okay this is stone recalls you or reminds you okay reminds you by uh, uh, by a good moment that you have spent today uh, Abdul Razak recalled uh, recalled what uh, uh, a brightful moment that he had passed with yes he told us about his story and even Nizar lays and so and uh, and Yasin and most of you so recall means to remember. We usually use it with information. I recall, I recall what I have studied yesterday. It means I still remember and I summon it back. Okay, let's move on. So selecting, who can give me another word for select? I'm going to give him five stars right now. Uh, Mazen, can you say it? Mazen? Muhammad, Samer, Mazen, where are you? Mazen. Choosing something. Just what? Uh, yeah, to choose something. Excellent, excellent. Mehmet. Mehmet, where are you from? Turkish. Oh, Mehmet. Your name is Mehmet, yeah. You know, yeah. I have a Turkish roots, by the way. Really? I have a oh, Turkish okay. roots. My grand, 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 my grand, nice. grand, grandfather was from Turkey. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. He will. It's okay. called Hassan Ada. Anyways, most working. Okay, no problem. Okay, so your name Mehmet it means Muhammad. Uh, Ahmed Naif, tell me yes. uh, another word for select. Ahmed. 
No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I say, I, I say, who is speaking now? Okay, Khalid. Okay. Khalid. What's your prefer what's your full name, Khalid? Picking, choosing, clicking. Excellent man, excellent. Samer. A choosing. Yes, nice. Choosing, yes. Or uh, you sometimes we can say select elect or elicit. Late, go on. Hadi, how are you, Hadi? Uh, select uh, means like pick it out of something. Like pick. Yeah, to pick it out. Excellent, man. That's good. Lay Rami. Excellent, boy. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. That's enough. Let's continue. Okay, boys, listen, listen. We have to know the spelling words. Please repeat after me that. Many. Many means too much or much. Learn. I'm sorry. Let's go to number two. What? C. C. You know, see againist, turn it, learn, point, seti, two words, himself, admire, magnet. You know, admire like to be bright of someone, magnet, contest, a method, custom. Soccer, you know, soccer like football. This is American word for football. Soccer. Sudden. Finger. Accident. Intent. Intent means he uh, he bought something inside himself. Flatten. Flatten to make it flat. Uh, sometimes we can say the tire is flattened. It means that it's torn apart. Gutter. Mammal. Mammal. Uh, mammal uh, like. Uh, any animal or any creature that uh, that what that gives birth? Any creature that gives and happen. Okay, so at home you have to learn those words. The remainings you can check it using your dictionary. Okay, and then you have to keep it in your mind and answer the questions related to it. Let's go down. Here it challenges. Spelling words. Dungeon. Dungeon. Who knows dungeon? Yeah. Let's let, let's let's uh, let's start brainstorm the meaning of the the word dungeon. Boys, who knows? Amazon. Do you know the meaning of dungeon? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Dungeon is an underground place where miners work in to mine. Uh, maybe yes and. Maybe no. Let's check another another answer. Who knows uh, the dungeon? Um, uh, uh, who else? Just raise your hand. Would you like to uh, check the word using the YouTube, uh, uh, the Google? Let's ask Google man. Who knows dungeon? Teacher? Yes. Go on. Uh, I I don't know the word, but here I can know here because I downloaded the dictionary. Excellent. So let me give you the meaning of dungeon, boys. Dungeon means a prison or a cell. Okay. A cell that they put prisoners inside it. Look at this is the dungeon. I can I can just uh, try to find a picture. Uh, like this. This is a dungeon. Can you, can you see the dungeon? The cell underground. Yes. It it was closed. Oh. He was closed. Yeah. The cell. The cell which is underground. This is a dungeon. I put prison. Prisoners in the okay. This is it clear, boys? Clear. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. You again. Okay. Nice. So let's continue. Magnify. What is the meaning of magnify? To make it bigger. Festival, like a ceremony or a celebration. Injury, you know, it's a cut or a wound. Thunderstorm, you know, a storm that has a lot of thunders and raining anyways guys i'm going to download again uh, this session thank you for today i hope you are great and well see you next in charlie who has any question before ending no 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 nothing nothing who has any questions okay no, see you later. Bye. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.